Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help, or today, Video Game Help. Mike here. So today, this is work continuing on this Atari Star Wars cabinet. This should be part two. Um, this came in and basically it's just been in a bar sitting for a long, long time. Super grungy. It booted up, but the sound was out. The monitor display was all screwed up and whacked out. So I'm going to be completely just rebuilding it. Uh, not a lot of emphasis on cosmetics, mainly just functionality. So let's talk about uh, what I've done so far. You'll notice that uh, I've got the front control panel out. Um, I'm at a point now where I'm uh, working on the monitor. But before we get to that, um, which trying to get the monitor is quite a deal. So I'll explain that later, just even to get to it. Let's talk about what's been done so far. So here we are down here inside of the box and you will see there's a new big blue capacitor on the power supply down there. The uh, rectifier board over here, the voltage regulator board, that's all been completely rebuilt. Since the last time, um, there's three boards inside of this wire cage there. Uh, there's a uh, there's um, the display controller, there's the CPU, and there's also the sound card in there. Um, I pulled all three boards out, and I have rebuilt all three of them. Um, normally, I like to do this a little bit at a time, but in this case, I just steamrolled through it. I didn't even turn check the stuff. Uh, I just started putting everything together and then putting it back together. Um, I've re put, replaced every capacitor on all three of the system boards, every single board in there, and I replaced some of the voltage regulators and all of the wear parts. You can get a uh, kit. I got a kit, a rebuild kit from Arcade Shop. Uh, there's, there's plenty of them out there that you can get. And I think Bob Roberts may still be around, the real Bob Roberts. I think he may still be around or his family is still selling parts. So that's another source too. Um, so that's all been completely rebuilt. And I did, uh, I did turn the game on with the monitor in it and the sound came up. So suddenly the sound was working. We still had problems with the monitor. So the last part of the electronics of this is going to be to get that monitor working. So since I had to do so much work, I needed to literally pull the monitor cage out, <clears throat> which was easier said than done. Um, there's two uh, nuts or, that you have to undo, wait, reach back up under there and unscrew them. And then the control panel and overlay and all of this, I'll show you what happens. This is on hinges and it just goes back like that. So this is how you, you gain access to the stuff. I didn't know if these needed to be bolted in because I saw they were there. So these two bolts here are the ones that need to be removed. And then the plastic overlay, there's some bolts here, here, and here. So there's several up there and then it all comes off. Um, show you there's a there's a little kind of cardboard bezel there and I guess it'd be easier for me to just show you all the parts I've pulled off they're all right here in a big pile so we've got the this absolutely filthy plastic control panel and then this is the, over the marquee this requires uh, some special hex uh, screw un to, bolt, to undo some hex bolts on the top and then this comes off and you can see there's a uh, incandescent light up in there so i've replaced this already with my led that i featured in um, a previous episode and it works really really well there's a special um, led uh, 18 inch that you can get it's only at lowe's and it, got, it has a switch on it that allows you to flip the color temperature which is pretty nice so with that out of the way, I unbolted the, the frame and I pulled it out and it's sitting right here on the bench. So here is a, I believe it's a Wells Gardner 6100. And you'll notice that all, the, almost all the boards are removed except for this, the back yoke board. I'm going to get to that later. Um, 
first thing you want to do before you mess with these is you want to discharge them. So there's a, uh, I forget, it escapes my, my mind at the moment, but the, the, what the, the piece you call it there, as soon as I turn the video off, I'll, I'll remember. But this is a, the highly charged part. So what you do, I made a little quickie device. I'll show you. Right here. I basically took a power cord and an old screwdriver and I soldered the power cord to the screwdriver. And, you know, eventually I'll put some kind of clip on here, like a, a jumper cable clip. And you just clip that to a ground, a good solid ground. And then you reach up underneath the little plastic boot. And then you touch the screwdriver. Uh, you ground it out with this on a ground. And that discharges the picture tube and all of that stuff so that you don't have to worry about getting shocked. Then you can remove it. It just pinches out and uh, removes. is removed. So... That's where we're, that's where, now I've got the boards on my bench. And I'm going to, I'm also going to be probably replacing these, these guys right here too. And also any capacitors that are on this yoke board. But for right now, I've removed the high voltage cage that was right here. And I've removed the controller board that's here. And they're on my bench. So the next order of business is going to be to rebuild those two boards then I'll fiddle with this, and then I'll deal with these. I'm going to basically replace everything that I've got in my rebuild kit for this. And I've also got, like, the extra component rebuild kit. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Even though there's clearly just one part of the board that's malfunctioning, since I've got everything off, I'm going to replace all these little things and try to, you know, at least make it last another 10 years without needing any major work. Um, so... That's where we're at. Let's go. Let's go. Um, look at what's on the board, shall we? I'll snap my fingers. Ready? And bam, here we are on the bench. And uh, you see, I've got the two boards here. Um, and looking at them just to see what previous work has been done, it's interesting. It only looks like the work that I've seen done is somebody has reflowed the connectors. But otherwise, the capacitors don't appear to have been replaced. These may be original. So I'm going to replace all of this stuff that I can. And then I'll get around to doing the same thing on that. I actually have a complete new kit for the flyback and everything, which I may just replace that as well and uh, bring it all back up to snuff. So that's where we're at. I'm just going to be, and I just did a video on how uh, how to desolder things that was me working on those other boards. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check that out. Just some tips and tricks. Yeah, there's the, the cathode or whatever. Um, that This is the thing you got to touch that thing to to uh, discharge it. So don't, don't lick that. Pro tip. All right. So stay tuned for the next part, and we will see what the progress is.